had a couple of weeks now with some summer vacation, so it's finally a time to get back to doing something. Yeah, do, doing something at all. Or it's not like I haven't done anything because I have changed the roof and painted the house on my farm and stuff like that, but now I can do something with the machines, finally. And today's task is the bobcat and the leaking cylinder that is, yeah, as you can see, it's going down pretty quick. So it's pretty terrible to use right now because you need to sit with your foot on the pedal all the time. So should be easy enough, I think. I have everything that's needed. So it's just taking the piston off and uh, yeah, changing all the seals and hopefully that will fix it. We'll see. Just watch to the end and uh, then we know if that was the problem or if it's something else. That could be also some kind of sleeve in uh, the hydraulic piston, not the piston, but uh, in the valve or something like that that is leaking over also some o-ring there or something, but hopefully it's just a piston and it's easy enough to fix. So it's not leaking outwards, so it's probably just an internal leak in the piston here or the cylinder. So let's take it off and check it out. Okay, so this being a bobcat, I guess everything is in inches and uh, yeah, I have some sockets in inches, but mostly you can make metric work also. So this is probably something like 9 16th or something like that, I guess, but 14 metric fits snugly on it. So we will go with metric and I also have my adjustable one. That one fits both sizes or both, both metric and inches. So that will probably work great. So I think we just start with uh, disconnecting the hoses and let them drain out. So when we are pulling the piston off, it's not too much oil. Okay, so while draining the oil, I can smell that the oil is smelling a little bit strange and I'm guessing that someone along the time have filled some hydraulic oil on this machine. And as I learned on the internet, they are not using hydraulic oil, they are using some engine oil or W40 or something like that. So 10W40, same as the tractor, old tractors does. So I think we will drain all the oil out also and uh, change that while we're at it. So it doesn't smell good. So, what did I learn from the earlier ones? Yes, they are some squirters. If you didn't see me fix that one on the tractor, well, then I got it all over myself instead. Right, I got it in my vise and uh, this type is a screw type so you are putting something in these holes and turning it. There are probably a tool for it, I don't have it so I will just try and grab this and turn and see if that will move. If not, maybe we have to make the tool or something. Let's, let's just try and see what happens. Ok, 
Okay, so this one is this one is just barely big enough, so we probably need to make the two, I guess. Yeah. I don't think we can uh, get a grip on this. Oh, just slipping. All right. Well, that sucks. And we need the two. So someone have been here before me and tried to open this. If you look at this hole, it's it's torn out. So I don't think I would have been able to open it using making a tool using this. So I went to my local shop and got a bigger one. So yeah, there are there are a bit difference there. So hopefully this one or this one is big enough. So let's see. This one does. 110 millimeters or three and a half inches and this one and this one is 90 millimeters so this will work let's just flip it over again and try and open it this works because this pipe wrench wasn't cheap so if I bought it for, for nothing that would be sad oh it got a grip that's for sure I don't have a lift <laughs> Oh shit, <laughs> this might not be that easy. Whew. All right, wait, that should be my advantage here. Chrome. Damn, it grips good. Holy fuck. So, got them apart, but this is not gonna be a video with a happy ending because take a look at this. This one has been really bad damaged. There have been something inside this cylinder tearing it up. So you can see the scarring here and I can see that for example here you can see the scarring is going but 
not in the seal so probably this have been fixed before but here you can see the scarring is also in the seal so that's why it probably didn't last very long but since I don't have any re replacement right now and I have the seals and everything from the o-ring store it wasn't very expensive so let's see if there was a price on here and the o-ring store was pretty great you could just go in buy machine and order not the price here but it wasn't much I th I'm thinking something like 20 to 30 dollars or something like that so not much and you got everything you needed so I th let's see if I find so if we take a look inside also in here you can see the same scarrings in here so I will try and do a little lap in here as far down as I can with the hone uh, that you normally use on a cylinder and I will try and take off the seal here and try and take the worst of this out and then put a new seal in and put it back together. I will not change out the seals here because it wasn't leaking and why bother changing everything here if this is starting to leak again pretty soon. I don't see the point. Everything else is working pretty good. Then I can just keep these seals for if I find a replacement or something like that. So yeah, that will be a lot easier also. So. Let's try and see if we can do something about that and see how long it will last. Probably rest of the season up here, something like that. Summer is soon over. So. This one is as good as it gets. I sand it over it with some finer paper also just to remove the biggest edges from this paper here. But I have removed all the high spots from all the grooves here, so that is a lot better. Still it's not ideal, but here it's just trying to get it to last as long as possible now when we are putting new seals in it. And since this is ruined here, I don't think the seals will last very long. So I don't want to change all the seals here. So if you click this video just to see how you would do all this. Uh, I did all this in a video of my uh, Kobelco mini excavator earlier. It's the same principle. And the only thing I learned there, or the thing I learned there from the comments in my video was that all these hard plastic rings are support rings for the soft O-rings. So whenever you are holding pressure in, the support ring is on the opposite side of the pressure on the o-ring so you can see it here this is the o-ring and the support ring is on the back side supporting the o-ring so that was a really valuable lesson and the same if you're going for the seals the support is supposed to be on the other side of where the pressure is so if you keep that in mind you don't need to do like i did in that video with when i laid everything out just to remember the way they are going going back when I was putting new in and everything so just knowing that this is support ring and the opposite side of the pressure is a lot easier but I'm not doing this now since it's broken here I will start and see if I can find a new cylinder for it or something but we will change the seals here put everything back together so I can use it still so now we will try and hone this one and just remove the worst of the scratches in that one and then we'll put new seals on it and put everything back together and see if it works and the funny thing here will be see how long it works it was um it was leaking last year also if you've seen my video with the first time learning to drive the bob bobcat it was leaking there and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and now it was just like you had to hold the paddle you saw the movie in the or the video in the beginning of it so i will clean this up 
and then start honing that one. So you can see down in here, there are some scarring here and I can feel it with my finger with no problem. So it's, it's no wonder that it was starting to leak internally, but yeah, we will, uh, we'll see what we can do about it. And uh, hopefully we can do something better and uh, yeah, maybe it will last a little bit longer. I don't think I will reach all the way down with this because you put it on the drill and in here. And as you can see, there are some oil in here also, but it doesn't matter because uh, you are supposed to have a little bit of oil when you are honing, so. All right, let's see what we can do. So there you can see the result and there you can see the line going straight way down. That's the biggest groove. I can't remove that one but all the other ones are a lot better. So that's really nice. So hopefully this will, uh, this will be a lot better and last probably a lot longer. And Worst case scenario, if I can't get a new cylinder uh, for the right price, uh, I can probably just do this once a year. It's not a big job. I don't have to do this um, filing and sanding and everything every year. I can just take it up, change the seals, put it back together again. It's a probably a 10 minute job, something like that. So that's a possibility. But let's get some brick cleaner and clean off everything. Yeah, and these bottles, you don't fill them all the way up, then it's no room for air. There are still some, you can see it right there, there are a little dent, so I probably need to file a little bit on it. And all the way in the bottom there are some dirt still lay, laying there, so I'll also get that out. So everything is cleaned off and uh, yeah, let's see if we can put some new seals on and put everything back together. and. Let's see, does it last a day, a month, or a year? Who knows? Yeah, same stuff. Right, and these ones, hot water. All right, if I remember correctly from uh, doing this to the Kowalko, it was a little bit lubrication. It didn't do anything harm. It was a little bit better or slippery. They are sure enough tight to get on these ones.
<laughs> okay, it's on. Alright, so far, so good. Right, as good as it gets. And uh, just take a look here, you can see that there have been something in in this piston. Because you can see all these markings here is from some, something hitting it. So, if there have been a... Um, failure or something like that, who knows, once, on, once upon a time, but, or if it's because it's engine oil and hydraulic oil mixed together, it could also be. Right. See some flakes in there. Some. Let me see if I can get them out. No. It's dense. Nothing. Nothing loose. So far so good, it does depend on how long it will last, but it's a lot better now, it doesn't leak anymore, so for now. But we'll see, I think I will try and use it a little bit and then I probably make the ending for the video. First of all, I have to switch over the hoses, I put them the wrong way, so the pedal was going the wrong direction. Then I have switched over the hoses again, so now it's ready for test number two. 
Uh, I will take the forks and put them some other way. And then I have a bucket, uh, a new bucket actually for the bobcat. I bought it on auction, so it was pretty cheap. So couldn't say no. And uh, I got that one up with the truck. So then we will go and get it and maybe grade a little bit on the road up there. So, but first let's just put the forks away. bucket I can't see the front cutting edge when I'm using it the uh, the other bucket I got it's so much better because you can always see what you're doing So the cylinder started to leak again just after using it for 10 minutes. I don't know if it was when I flipped the bucket all the way down here and lifted the machine that because it seems like it was okay before that but probably when I go all the way out it goes where it's worst so probably that wasn't a good idea. But anyways I've been using it as you can see here after this and it's working okay-ish it's like before it's leaking you have to hold the pedal when you are driving forward so the bucket doesn't tip down but it's no problem i will fix this so this will be a continued video so uh yeah to be continued we'll see how i fix it